I'm Jason Olsford and today I'm going to show you the first simple step I take in blending my subjects with the background in my composite photography. Oh, oh, okay. Are you ready? All right, all right, all right. Okay, what famous Texan says that line in a lot of his movies? Now, this is true Texas trivia for today. I want to know if you know anything about Texas and the actors that come from here. So if you know the answer to that question, leave it in the comments below. All right, so uh, we're going to be talking about, or I'm going to be talking about how, you know, my process for blending my subjects in with the background when I'm doing composite photography. Now I'm gonna use the uh, new composite that I just uh, put out, which is called The Texas Dream. Uh, and the reason is, is because I've gotten a lot of questions from that. And I wanna make sure that I address as many of those questions as I can on these videos. And the one question that I got was, how do you blend everything to look so natural and, and fluid? And so, the tutorial that we're going to do today or I'm going to do today for you is to show you my very first step in that blending process. So uh, this is the final product here that we have and I'm going to shrink that down and now we're in Photoshop and I'm going to show you exactly what we're doing. Now this is before any blending has occurred and as you can see if I uh, hide her we can see the background here which is a couple of scenes from trailers that I went out and photographed here uh, not too far from where I live. Uh, and, and quite honestly, this was the nicest, uh, trailer house that I photographed. There's a lot of bad stuff out there. So anyway, uh, bringing her back in, uh, the very first step that I like to do before anything is drop the opacity. Now, this is not something that I created or came up with or anything like that. Uh, I actually learned this from Glenn Dewis on his YouTube channel in a video that he put out, a tutorial that he did, Photoshop tutorial. And uh, I'll, I'll make sure I put that link into our show notes here below so you can connect with Glenn as well because, you know, a lot of the stuff that I've learned with photo compositing, I've compiled through a lot of his videos and then over at Flurn with Aaron Nace and just, you know, just a lot of stuff going through the internet. And then a lot of it is just, you know, happy accidents or trial and error and I figure things out. All right. So that's what it's all about. This specific technique today, though, came from Glenn Dewis uh, in his video uh, Photoshop tutorial. So anyway, I'm going to start off here with my subject. And what I like to do is I like to always start with dropping the opacity down to 95%. Most of the time that works really nicely. So if I drop her down, uh, the mother and daughter down here to 95%, here's where the problem comes is that if I zoom in here and we look at the, uh, arm, we can start seeing the trailer house, the window from the trailer coming through her arm. So if we, I'm gonna make a copy of her uh, and then bump that up to 100%. So at 100%, you can't see it. At 95%, you can see it. There you go. All right, so we wanna you know, fix that problem. Clearly, we wanna fix that problem. So we're gonna bump that up what I found with this specific composite was 98% really gave us a nice, uh, you know, a nice place to play in with opacity in blending that. So as you can see, looks pretty good. This is a hundred percent. Drop it down here so you can see the whole image. So that's a hundred percent. And then that's 98%, percent, hundred percent, 98%. Percent. Okay, so that's 100%. I don't know how to do this and not have to do a couple of clicks here. And then that's 98%. So big difference, I think. I really like this technique. Again, like I said, I always go with 95% and then I'll bump it up if I need to to make sure that nothing shines through. Now, I did this technique on all the elements of this composite, which was the dog, the chickens, the... Um, Believe it or not, the cone was already in the shot. I could not have planned that. That was just too perfect, right? And then the four-wheeler and the flag were all, uh, I always drop the opacity down on all those to give it that that look or that, you know, help blend those elements into my composite photography. So 
Uh, that's really super simple, very quick. Try that out uh, and see what it, it looks like on your composite, what works best for you or what you like best for your eye. Uh, there's no you know, absolute. It's not 98%, it's not 95%, it's whatever you like. Just make sure that nothing is you know, kind of showing through the background when you're uh, dropping that opacity down. All right, so that's the tutorial today. Very quick, very easy. Now I got to go get my hair cut. So go out, create some awesome photography, some awesome composite photography. And I'd love to see the results that you have of your opacity changes. So make sure that you post those links in here with the uh, in the comments section below. Or if you're on the blog, post them in the uh, comments section below on the blog. And let me see what you guys are doing as well, because I'd love to see that. All right, so... Uh, Go out, do some awesome work, and I'll see you next time on The Factory.